Well, that's another island linked. I did the thing. Hmm. This sounds serious. We should head to the Great Lighthouse as soon as we can, so can I go there now? I have an idea of what to do about that wall. But I have a favor to ask the two of you. Come see me later. Okay. Well, there's no timed quests, it doesn't look like, so I don't care. Like, unless that's something that I have to do for, like, story progression, because sometimes that's a thing. I'm gonna speed up how fat as hard as I can. <laughs> well, um, well, I don't know where you're at. I genuinely don't know. Like, where did you go? Where do you come from? Where do you go? Here, now I can get this thing. One up DX, cool. All right, well, like it seemed like you went down, but I could just be down to that other area and then another way over or something or other. Because, uh, oh, there's another thing here. So I'll check it out really quickly. And, uh, come on. Get an ultra candy. Okay. Let me eat ball already! Okay. Then, uh, I don't know, like, set a course there, I guess. I don't know. Not like it matters all that much here right now. Wait. Yeah, I've been down that one there. But yeah, God damn it, of course you did cotton eye joke. <laughs> it had to be done. Thus is the curse. You're like me, cursed with knowledge. Do I need a... No, I think I'm good. Don't need a heal there. Might as well save really quickly, because it's good to do that from time to time. That last save before the boss. Alright, I'm at the 12 hour mark here. Um... Mm hmm. What? This is important here, but it's not an automatic one? Mario, Luigi, be honest. Are we helping? No. Absolutely. Everyone and Ida did wonderfully at Lotta Coins Island. I felt like we were mostly in the way. I guess he helped getting that one guy out of the way, but realistically, I could have just forced my way past him. Um, hear me out, Princess Peach. I'm listening. Use, uh, use idle kids. Us idle kids still have a ways to go still. But if we can somehow prove ourselves, if we can show we're useful to you, Mario and Luigi. Princess Peach, we'd like for you to help us. Will you join Idol? What? Me? You don't have to say yes right now. Yeah, just think about it. We're gonna come up with a way to be useful. Also, is that another very small hiccup? Yep, you'll see. Oh my, this is so sudden that I don't know what to say. Then at least take this. What is it? Harmony scarf. Everyone in Idol wears that scarf. This makes you an honorary member. I see. Thank you. Did she actually wear it? Oh, I had to do that before I progressed, and that wasn't even an automatic cutscene. I had to go out of my way to go talk to one of them over there. Like it- Whoa. Well, what? Usually when it does that, it's gonna do like the beam to the next place. What did it do? Look, did that do anything there? It charged up the tree and did something. Also, Guzma just coming into the stream and gifting a sub to Fusion here. I greatly appreciate the gifted sub there, Guzma. And Fusion, welcome on into Team Man Harmonic. Enjoy a month of the emotes and the sub badge and all that fun stuff there and the ad-free viewing. Keep on forgetting that that's an aspect there. Um, probably one of the most important aspects. But yeah, back home again from the uh, GameStop trip. Connie, that was her name. Um, Princess Peach is so brave. I don't think I could volunteer to get kidnapped on purpose. Well... Maybe I'll do the lighthouse and then I'll take a food break because I still haven't had dinner or something like that. Yeah, I <laughs> I wasn't sure if you wanted to be added back immediately here, but I can do that here. You do be right. But we bop. The sky is up? What? <laughs> here. And I go over this way. Hi. I'm working on a rocket right now. What? What? I'm hoping we can use it to break through that wall. Slow down there. You're making a what? I forgot we already went past the lighthouse. And that's not over here then. A rocket. To destroy the wall between us and the Great Lighthouse Island. Though it's not quite complete. I'm still lacking the important component of stick'em oil. 
that if I had it, it would be trivial to destroy the wall. You'll get it for me? That would be ideal. Your offer is well within my projected outcome. Okay, so mandatory side quest at this point. Um, stick of oil is mainly found in deserts. See where this is going? Gotta go to a desert? Uh, shock you that I'm handling such a dire situation this calmly? I believe in efficiency, in action. The rest is beyond my control. So, inside, I think we all feel the same way. Heh. <laughs> it's gonna charge up the tree again! What is happening? What does this do? Oh, now it does a beam. Okay. Why? I already had a path to the lighthouse. I just couldn't go to the lighthouse because I was, uh, like, not having the rocket. Oh, it opens that up. Oh, so this is me going to the desert to, uh, get the stick of oil, I guess. What? That sound from the beach. Stepping on the beach. Could be. Could it? Is it actually Toadsworth this time? Maybe. Okay, we gotta decide where to steer ship shape. There's a decision here? What? I thought side quest new. I thought the, the only choice is like here. Now it's a decent ways to go here. Um and yeah, the uh and up buying a ton of cards already, bought the boxing, my brother bought the individual packs. Might go back to GameStop tomorrow, we get Minecraft story mode. Yeah, free choice. We have to make a decision about where to steer it. The objective is that way. Hey Mario and Luigi, can you come see? But yeah, I saw the photo on like the preview on my watch. Uh, I would like to do some fishing. Oh, there's a fishing mini game. 10 out of 10. Change my mind. It's not 5 out of 10 after all. That's how you can catch fish from a cliff? Oh, Mario. The key to fishing is to make sure the fish don't notice you. That's it. The farther you are from the water, the better your chances. Take it from Master Fisherman. Now, I have a fishing rod for you. Is it an old rod that'll only catch Magikarp? Whoa, and someone just popped in in the distance with that. You got a fishing rod. Whoa, and we're going past something in the background there. Whoa, it's kind of cool how that's real time, at least. You can see stuff going by in the background. Kind of like that. Um, set up special chairs to fish from. If you need bait, my buddy will sell it to you. Depending on who does the fishing, the fish you catch might change. Experiment a bit. I assume it would be like a cheap cheap, most likely. Use a fishing rod to catch fish, and for the fishing spot on Shipship Island. In order to fish, you will need bait. Bait seller is conveniently located nearby. Uh, that's how they get you, that's how they get you hooked. Um, choose your bait, cast your line, and wait for a bite. When you get a bite, match the timing and press A with Mario, B with Luigi. If you're successful, you're really in a fish. Fish can be used as crafting materials in the workshop. If you're not catching the fish you want, try changing up who's fishing or the bait. Fish rarity can change depending on those pairings, like having Mario using handcrafted bait, etc. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they might just... I mean, I once swept people in, like, singles online, like, with a Magikarp <laughs> in the Oraz days. Wow, it looks empty and lonely. Maybe try fishing with the rarest bait. I mean, my wallet looks empty and lonely. Um, wouldn't this make it emptier and lonelier? Sure. Give me one of those. Sure, give me one of each. For catching fish that go into making equipment. Fish that could be sold for a high price. Here, give me like three of all of them, actually. Well, four now, technically. Um, I'd say the boss battles are definitely the most engaging part. The boss battles in this game are genuinely good. But uh, the overworld is typically not, I'm finding. Here, just to learn how it works first. Get basically anything with it. Did I send out my line? Oh. I guess that's too soon. Okay, so I need to wait for it to really go down, not just a slight bob. Okay. Okay, and then... Oh, well, I got a mushroom out of it. Okay, standard bait with... Oh, I thought I could switch to Luigi. I guess I got a back out, like, an additional menu. This is what I gotta do. 
Okay, so I don't have to alternate A and B. I just press A and then it's reeled in. It's kind of a lame fishing mini game, if so. This is still more engaging than you'd think. Never underestimate the power of a fishing mini game in a video game. Okay, can I do it with Luigi now? Yeah, so I have to back out completely before I can start fishing with Luigi. That kind of sucks. Um, yeah, B to reel in. Oh, that was a double exclamation point. I got a bullion fish. I assume I can sell that or something, maybe? It's weird, I gotta select A there, and then in here I have to use B. Are you judging me from up there? I bet you are. Coin fish. Okay, let's try the handcrafted bait. This is for items that go into making gear? That's what this is? Okay, single exclamation point there. Yep, yeah, I agree. I do completely agree with that. It does make things more confusing. I guess they want more standardized video game menuing. Even though, it was the whole point of Mario and Luigi that Mario is A and Luigi's B. That's a whole gimmick of the series. So like, you shouldn't change things to be standard. You know what they say, you make a product for everyone and you make a product for nobody. So, you shouldn't be trying to make things more of the norm. You should keep things having their own unique flavor. In my opinion there. Alright. Yeah, they really never were standard. So trying to like standardize it is like, why? I got an often. And like, yeah, this game has definitely taken away a lot of that uniqueness. Like, both with like the Luigi controls. And like the overworld play, where they no longer move as a unit, and Luigi's just kind of doing things on his own most of the time. So those two ways have really undermined the Mario and Luigi of this Mario and Luigi game. Yeah. The, the combat of this game is really good. I think the animations are really good. Pretty visually appealing game. But yeah. Yeah, you should be trying to make things like more interesting and unique rather than making it like everything else is. Like I get that you'd want to make things like everything else is just that there's more overlap for people so it's like less different and weird. But like when a game is different and weird that makes people go like, whoa, that's different and weird. Here's something different to learn that I'm not used to playing. As opposed to same old, same old. Like sure, it can take a little bit to learn to get into it. Like someone that's never played one of these games before popping into it and being like, what? I have to control Luigi for everything and solve puzzles with the moving as a unit. But then you get into the hang of it and it's like, oh, this is what makes these games unique. But nope, that's, uh, that's not here anymore. Well. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Super Mario RPG remake, then Thousand Year Door remake. Now, the one original RPG they get is really weird. Yeah, and it feels like it's not super faithful to the series that's based on. For sure. <laughs> At least there's Ouija fishing. At least there's that. Um, so we were going down to the beach for something or other. Really nice if there was a mini-map here. Yeah, like, it still has aspects of it. Like, the combat still works with Mario A, Luigi B. Apart from you now need to select Luigi's things with A in the first place, so. Not gone completely. I wouldn't say that it lost it, but it does definitely undermine it and make it less special. Oh, there's a timed quest here. Oh, there's Plessy. Hi, Plessy. You gonna take me to the hidden land? Uh, timed quest, so I guess I'll do it. Dory, or Dory it's called. Am I getting mixed up with something else then? I can't believe you're here. Careful, don't get too close. Um, this is Shu. Hey, easy. This is a dear friend from our world. Don't worry, Tori won't bite you. But, it's kind of scary. Irene, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna be its lunch. Look, it's hurt. Poor thing, can we get some medicine to help? Medicine. I bet bond ore would work. Maybe they sell it on Desolat Island. We'll go get some. Hey, Princess Peach! 
bond ore? Luke, come on. We're gonna head to Desolat Island. Fellas, Ello, you two stay here and keep an eye on our patient. But, but that's a big patient. That's scary. It'll be fine. Bye. Creeper. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Cute. A uh, special quest, it's Dory. The, <laughs> the voice on the beach belonged to a wounded Dory. See it's to its injuries quickly. Yeah, special side quest with limited time to clear. Yeah, so I'll I'll do it. Because I'm not going to the lighthouse island yet. First, I'm going to the uh, uh the Desolat. Gotta remember the names of things. Okay, so Desolat was here. Alright. This is the way we go. Uh big stretch. Maybe I'll end up doing this side quest and then grabbing some food because it is 8.31. Take like a 20 minute food break and then like come back and start the third section after being the second lighthouse or something like that. Like truly go ham on the opening weekend. Like it's not going to be a game I beat in the opening weekend. It's probably not going to be like Tears of the- not Tears of the Kingdom. Imagine I beat that on opening weekend. Echoes of Wisdom I meant to say. But uh, but yeah. Honestly would not put it past them to kill Dory if he didn't do this since it's a timed quest. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, you don't do it and you advance the story and lose the option to do the side quest. Yeah, no more Dory. Yes, yeah, so you see, I'm running a business here. There's really nothing I can do for you. Please, is there no way you can accept what we have to offer? This stuff sells for 50,000 coins easy. There's no way I can let it go for five. Look at you with that fancy royal getup. There's no way you're that short of coins. But all we have right now is... Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. Tell you what, give me that shiny thing on your head. Maybe we can make a deal. Oh, very well. You may have it. Mario, Luigi. Hey, we're closing a deal here. What's with all the running up and barging in? I feel like he's scamming her, right? Maybe. You do want in on this? <laughs> Can't believe the original price was a mere five coins. How high can we go? I want that thing on your head and these two burly men. Going right for Bondor? We're talking 99,000 coins now. I'll buy it. Hey, let me go. Whoa, the shadow actually didn't despawn for once. It actually moved and went out of frame. Cool. That's a first. Huh? Huh? Help! We still got a deal, right? Oh, that was unexpected. Luke, you know what to do. Yep, here goes. Huh. Ugh, ouch. That really stings. I didn't even knock out the snapter. You good? Can you stand? Oh, that was scary. A car? I don't know. Are we gonna have to fight a single small snapter maybe? What? My flying snapter smacker move didn't take it down? No way. Oh, those atomic snapter snap would have taken it out easy. Wow! Mario, Luigi. And yeah, I know it would have despawned off camera, but that's what you should do is despawn things off camera where you can't see them despawning as opposed to on camera like it's been with like every instance before this point. Whoops. Well, there goes half my health. Um, gosh dang it. Okay. Um, yeah, why are so many things getting isekai here? Is this actually another world or is this just another part of the weird-ass Mario world that doesn't make much sense? I assume it's just like so many things from the Mario world got pulled into this world here. Is what it be. Um, I'm gonna try this here. You know, I never had that thought until you mentioned it, and now I'm not gonna be able to get that out of my head. <laughs> not wrong here. Alright, let's try this. Okay. Yeah, so I basically just need, like, to hit A and B once each. The timing. That is it. Okay. And then... 
Better safe than sorry. I was thinking about just going for it, but uh, let's do that. Okay. Okay, do that. Don't know if that one's ever hit me. Okay. Bonk. Keep me on my toes a lot more if they uh, if they went after one bro and there was like a bomb underneath the other one. Something like that. Okay. Wah. Uh-oh. Well, uh, here. Do this again. A bunch of damage all around. Man, this is like the easiest bro attack ever. Hit B, then A, and then X when you've chosen your target. And then that's it. A very Mario RPG. This is still leagues better than Sticker Star. I think so. It's been so long since playing Sticker Star. I remember hating it. But, uh, it's also just now occurring to me. I still have these. But yeah, I may as well spend them. So I, by the next time I'm in a boss battle, like, they're fully recharged. So I may as well do. So hey. But I remember hating Sticker Star. Like, I could not beat it for the life of me. I got bored out of my mind back when. I can't wait to eventually get to it on the channel. Play everyone's favorite video game of all time. Yeah, not hard to be better than Sticker Star, so it's not even a fair comparison. Yeah, that... That sounds fair from what I remember of it. Because in my teenage years, I was trying to 100% as many games as I could, but still beat them first and foremost. I wanted to get like the most bang for my buck and really sink my teeth into each game by 100%ing them. So when I got so bored of a game that I didn't even beat it, it says a lot. So yeah, and I never beat Sicker Star because I got so bored out of my mind. I beat Sicker Star, it's not fun. <laughs> it has been so many years since playing it. I remember really not liking it. I mean, not beating it is very indicative of its quality. But I don't remember a lot of stuff about it. I remember that attacks are consumables of the stickers. And that's about all I remember, honestly. So it'll be, uh, it'll definitely be interesting eventually getting to it on this channel. I have no doubt. Failed to make Kimmy have fun. Yeah. Same with teenage me. Like, that can, that can say a lot. Chapter 3 and Sticker Star is backtracking. And required secret exits marathon. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Will Persona 3 meet the same fate? Only time will tell. Yeah, I know I haven't streamed it for these a while here. I have actually been grinding in it on the side when like watching movies and stuff with family. I'll just bring my laptop out and just like grind in Tartarus. And I'm at a point now that I feel like I have all the funds I need to get all the things I want. I can probably stream it again whenever. I'm just going ham on this this weekend since like new release, but... At some point in the near future, I will probably do another Persona stream and then keep on going ham and I'm getting so close and get there eventually. Come on, five coins. Hand over the bond or... Oh, well. You'd be snapped your food if we hadn't helped you. Want us to call our flying friend back over? Oh, let's not be too hasty here. The bond door is yours. You don't allow no sketchy sales twerps on our island. Got it? You got it. Remember me for all your Bondor needs. Okay, princess, let's head back. All right. We did the thing. You don't even need to use stickers to fight. You can just run from enemies in Sticker Star and they'll disappear when you do so. Oh, they're just gone? Oh boy, I can't wait for Harmonia to suffer through this shiny, sticky madness that is Sticker Star. Don't worry, I'll suffer through it with you. <laughs> we still have a few Mario RPG games before this point. Because I'll get through this, and then I'll play Super Paper Mario, and then I'll play Mario & Luigi Dream Team, and then I'll play Paper Mario Sticker Star. Because I generally want to take the Mario & Luigi and the Paper Mario games, like, alternating. I just happened to do two Mario & Luigi games in a row because this was a new release here. And wanted to get through the initial trilogy first, but, like, I had it planned out for so long of, like, Mario... Thousand Year Door, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, and then Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, and then Super Paper Mario, and then Mario & Luigi Dream Team, and then Paper Mario Sticker Star, and then, like, I'll have played all the Mario & Luigi games and all the Paper Mario games leading up to Paper Jam, so then I play the crossover game between the two of them, and then just, like, the Paper Mario games that followed after that, since there wasn't any Mario & Luigi games that followed that. Except for this one now, which if I wanted to take them in order, I would have saved it until after, but it was a new release, so I wanted to cover it as a new release. So three games away, you could say. Beat this game, then beat Super Paper Mario, then beat Dream Team, and then I'll play Sticker Star. 
So it might not be for a little while still. We have a few games away before reaching it, but I'll get there eventually. There you go, Kadari. All better? <laughs> right as rain? Awesome. You give Dory a big scarf? I almost said plus C again. Oh, it's huge up close, huh? We've been watching Dory. Everything's good. I love Dory. <laughs> Dory wants to be in our crew. Isn't that right, Dory? Aw. Yeah, that'd be so cool. And Irene's mom knit a nice Dory-sized scarf. Sounds like it would go through a lot of material. Be pretty expensive there. I love Dory even more with a scarf, you kinky bastard. Great work, Idol. Thank you so much. Special quest, it's Dory. Oh, I got an idol scarf, apparently. Oh yeah, what are my accessories right now? But yeah, let's see here. You have to use them on bosses. A final boss is super demanding that you get the best damage possible. And Super Paper Mario is a good game. That's why I've heard. I remember it getting like a lot of a uh, controversy and hate initially because of like the change to the formula but in the years since apparently like I've heard a lot of people say like it's a really good game and people just kind of hated on it because it was different um all right of this game just doesn't have the same charm as others even the villains are either bland yeah I agree it's something about peach looks soulless you think <laughs> maybe it's an imposter yeah that's gotta be what's going on here just you wait all right let's see here so Oh yeah, that makes enemies drop items more often. And the uh, 25% more coins when you win a fight without taking damage. Um, the idol scarf. Increases max HP by 10% and increases defense by 10%, but decreases stash by 20%. Okay, interesting. So it raises some of my defensive things, but lowers one of my offensive things here. And I could put this on right now, especially considering my gear on Mario is really crap. This dirt cheap wear. That I just refuse to upgrade. Wait. Switch it there. Because the Luigi's already got a little bit of better defenses. There. Now it's not as drastic of a difference. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So those black eyes like Mario and Luigi. Pretty sure that's the way that's always been in the Mario games though, right? Don't think I have anything to heal there. What's that thing at the bottom there? What's the plug, like to the right of our health bars? That bar that has like a single plug thing. Does it mean that there's like a single plug thing that I can find here somewhere or something? Hmm. I don't know. All right, well, let's see here. Let's go up this way, discovered a new current. Here comes another island. 12 and a half hours now. So is this the place I need to go? A little bit of a hiccup there. Discovered all Sand Island. Super Paper Mario might be different. But you know what? It does have good writing and characters unlike this game. That's why I've heard. I've heard that the writing of that game is pretty interesting. Let's go to all Sand Island. And get the thing that I need for this rocket. So that we can break into the lighthouse. And then maybe I'll take a food break. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. I see Guzma redeeming a whole bunch of absolutely nothing there. As one does.